Welcome to our exploration of how to mentally control the energy field around us. This is a profound topic that touches on the essence of our existence and the fabric of the universe in which we live. In this discussion, we will explore hidden knowledge, understand the fundamentals of energy fields, and learn practical methods to harness this power. Understanding our energy field. The concept of an energy field surrounding and penetrating all living things is ancient, yet it resonates with modern quantum physics. Everything in the universe is energy. This energy is not just mechanical, it is vibrant and conscious. Think about the electricity that powers your home or the warmth of the sun on your skin. These are simple examples of energy we interact with daily. Now, imagine a subtler form of energy that interacts not just with our physical selves, but with our thoughts, emotions, and spiritual essence. To begin, let's consider what we mean by energy field. This term generally refers to the aura or the luminous body that surrounds each of us which many traditions believe can be perceived through spiritual or psychic means. This field is not static. It is dynamic and responsive to our thoughts, emotions, and environment. Now, let's shift our attention to how we can perceive this field. Initially, this might seem esoteric or inaccessible, but with practice, Becoming aware of your energy field can become as natural as feeling the temperature of the air around you. Begin by tuning into your own body. Notice areas where you feel light, tense, warm, or cool. Each sensation is a form of energy expression. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lesson. Once you become aware of your energy, the next step is to learn how to influence it. Here, intention plays a crucial role. Intention is not just about wishing or wanting. It's about aligning your heart, mind, and will. It involves clarity and a deep sense of purpose. When you set an intention, you direct your energy towards a desired outcome. But how do you do this effectively? It begins with visualization. Visualizing is a potent tool. Imagine the outcome you desire as vividly as possible. See it, feel it, believe in it. For example, if you wish to feel more peaceful, visualize yourself in a serene setting. Feel the calmness in your body and embrace the peace that comes with it. This visualization sends signals to your energy field, aligning it with the state of peace. Visualization is powerful, but it's also important to ground these visualizations in reality. This involves practical actions that align with your mental and spiritual exercises. For instance, if peace is your goal, apart from visualizing, engage in real-world peaceful activities. This might mean practicing meditation, spending time in nature, or cultivating patience in your daily interactions. Now, consider how you interact with others. Our energy fields do not exist in isolation. They interact and intersect with the energy fields of those around us. This interplay can uplift us or drain us, depending on the nature of the interactions. Have you ever noticed how some people make you feel energized while others leave you feeling tired? This is the energy exchange at work. To manage this, it's crucial to develop discernment about where you invest your emotional and energetic resources. Learn to recognize situations and relationships that empower you and those that deplete you. Cultivate relationships that strengthen your energy field and be mindful of those that undermine it. In this first part, we've laid the foundation of understanding and perceiving our energy field. We've also touched upon the basics of influencing our field through intention and visualization, coupled with practical actions. Now, let's move deeper into the methods of controlling and refining our energy field for greater harmony and empowerment. Refining and protecting our energy field. 
As we proceed further into the art of controlling our energy field, it's important to focus on refining and protecting this vital aspect of our being. Energy hygiene is as crucial as physical hygiene for maintaining health and vitality. Let's explore how we can cleanse, protect, and enhance our energy fields. Just as you might clean your body or your living space, it's equally important to cleanse your energy field. This can be done in several ways, such as through meditation, using sound like bells or chanting, or even through physical activities like yoga or qigong, which are specifically designed to enhance the flow of energy in the body. One effective technique is to visualize a shower of light washing over you, clearing away any negativity or blockages within your energy field. Imagine this light as bright and clear, flowing through you from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Feel the light not just as a visual element but as a force, cleansing, healing, and invigorating. Once cleansed, protecting your energy field is the next step. This involves creating barriers against negative energies. Visualization can again be a powerful tool here. Imagine a shield of light around your body, one that only allows positive energy to enter and interact with your field. This shield does not block out experiences, but rather filters them, letting in what is beneficial and keeping out what is harmful. Another method of protection is to use grounding techniques. Grounding connects you with the earth and helps stabilize your energy. You can do this by walking barefoot on the ground, visualizing roots growing from the soles of your feet deep into the earth, or simply spending time in nature. Enhancing your energy field involves nurturing it with positive energy and experiences. Engage regularly in activities that fill you with joy and peace. It might be music, art, spending time with loved ones, or engaging in community service. Whatever makes you feel alive and connected to a greater whole will enhance your energy field. Practices such as gratitude can also significantly enhance your energy field. By focusing on the blessings in your life, you attract more positive energy. Each day, try to list things you are grateful for. This shifts your focus from what is lacking to what is abundant. Do not underestimate the impact of your diet and physical environment on your energy field. Foods have energy, and eating a diet rich and fresh, whole foods can enhance your vibrational state. Similarly, environments that are harmonious and peaceful contribute to a positive energy field, while chaotic or negative spaces can disrupt it. Now, think about the ways in which your environment and daily habits influence your energy. Are there changes you can make to promote a more nurturing atmosphere? Perhaps introducing plants to your workspace, decluttering your home, or choosing to spend time in environments that uplift you. In this second part, we have explored how to cleanse, protect, and enhance our energy fields. These practices are essential for maintaining a healthy and vibrant energetic state, which in turn enhances our overall well-being and our ability to interact positively with the world around us. Advanced Techniques for Harnessing and Directing Energy Having established a foundation for understanding, cleansing, and protecting our energy field, we now turn our focus to more advanced techniques. These methods allow us to harness and direct our energy consciously to achieve specific outcomes, be they for healing, manifestation, or deeper spiritual connections. Channeling Energy Channeling energy is an advanced practice that involves directing the flow of energy within and outside the body for specific purposes. This can be done through various techniques including focused meditation, hands-on healing, or even through creative expressions like art or dance. Begin by grounding yourself and clearing your energy field as previously discussed. Once you feel centered and your space is clear, you can start to channel energy. One method is to visualize energy as a stream of light. 
Depending on your goal, you can visualize this energy emanating from your hands, heart, or mind. For example, if your intention is to heal a part of your body, you might visualize warm, soothing light flowing from your hands into the afflicted area, promoting healing and comfort. Manifestation is the process of bringing specific desires or intentions into reality through the power of directed energy. It's about aligning your vibrational frequency with that of your desires. The clearer and more focused your intentions, the more effectively you can manifest. To use energy fields for manifestation, start with a clear and precise intention. Write it down if necessary. Visualize this intention as a seed that you are planting within your energy field. Nurture this seed with regular attention and visualization. Imagine it growing, blossoming, and finally bearing fruit, which represents the manifestation of your desire. You can enhance this process by creating a physical representation of your desire, such as a vision board or a symbolic object that you carry with you. Each time you see this representation, it reinforces the energy directed towards your intention. An advanced concept in energy work is the creation of energy portals. These are focal points where energy is concentrated and can be accessed for spiritual travel, deeper insight, or enhanced intuition. Creating an energy portal involves selecting a specific location and consecrating it with intention and ritual. Choose a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. Cleanse the area energetically as you would your own energy field. You can use elements like crystals, candles, or incense to help define and enhance the portal. Then, through meditation and directed intention, invite positive, enlightening energy into the space. This portal becomes a sacred space for deep meditation and spiritual activities. Our energy fields interact constantly with those of others around us. By being mindful of these interactions, we can use our energy more effectively in our relationships. This involves not only protecting our own energy, but also being conscious of not imposing our energy onto others in manipulative or harmful ways. In relationships, strive to maintain an energy of openness and positivity. When conflicts arise, instead of reacting impulsively, take a moment to center yourself and clear any negative energy. Approach the situation with the intention of finding a resolution that maintains the integrity of both parties' energy fields. In this third part, we have explored more advanced techniques for harnessing and directing our energy. These practices allow for greater control and use of our energy fields to enhance our lives and the lives of those around us in profound ways. When you are ready, let me know and we will proceed to the final part of our discussion, where we will explore the spiritual dimensions of energy control and how to integrate all these practices into a holistic approach to living.